finals and how they arrived here at the final. Don Bosco, a 5-3 winner over Don Savio last night. Christopher Columbus, a 6-3 winner over South Boston. And after the very one-sided consolation game, Dave, I'm really looking forward to this final. The crowd's filling up just a little bit, and it looks like we're going to have plenty of enthusiasm and excitement. Like I said during the consolation game, the emotions during the consolation game aren't very high, but they have, you see the two extremes here. We're in the championship game, both teams very high. It's a very emotional game. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a good, good opportunity for one of these teams to get a championship under their belt and get a good feel about themselves going into the season. Uh, you know, Don Bosco uh, coming into the game, a 3-1 and one record against Columbus at 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Bosco, we saw earlier in the year, who, That's right. great goaltender in Harry Vaughn, and it, they do a good job in front of Harry Vaughn. And, and we are now ready to go to Pat Fredrickson, the PA announcer here at Walter Brown Arena, for the starting lineups for tonight's championship game.
And we're just about ready as the two teams shake hands and exchange goodwill at center ice before the action begins. Down to our right, the Friars of Christopher Columbus. So you see our officials now, Mike McDonough and John Gallagher, working in the championship game this evening. Below us to the left, Harry Vaughn, a guy that, as Dave Quinn mentioned, we were very impressed with in the Catholic Conference hockey opener just about a week and a half ago. We haven't had a chance to see Christopher Columbus, but my advice to them if they're going to beat Bosco tonight is capitalize on their first scoring opportunity because they're not going to get many second chances because Bosco does a great job in front of Vaughn. That's one, that's one of the reasons why he's such a good goaltender because he comes up with the first stop, controls his rebounds bombs well, and doesn't allow the, the uh, other team a uh, second opportunity. And we're just about ready, and we are underway. But controlled off the opening draw, Sullivan of Christopher Columbus rides it in behind the Bosco net, and the play is whistled for an icing. And we'll have a face-off back in the Christopher Columbus zone. And we look at Joe McCabe, 13-year assistant to Marty Pierce at Manion High School, his second season as the head coach of the Don Bosco Bears, hoping to bring them to the state tournament in 87-88. Puck is controlled now by Bosco. Conniff tries to drop it back to the point. Has the pass intercepted. Puck thrown in wide of Vaughn. First man back to make the touch for Don Bosco is Mike Monticello. He's paired with another guy that was very impressive earlier, and that was Ken Venus. You see Harry Vaughn, the Don Bosco netminder. Venus, the senior captain and a very strong leader of the Bears. Kevin Feeney on the draw sends it right in on Vaca. Vaca was there to make the save. Bill Vaca, the goaltender for the Friars of Christopher Columbus. The faceoff coming to the right stick side of Vaca. 14.39 left. We're in the opening moment of the championship game of the All-Boston Hockey Tournament. Venus sends the puck back to the CC zone. Tucker with it there. Pass ahead is Vaca away by Municello. Now Gelardi back for Municello. Ahead for Arthur Brown. Brown has it knocked away by Tucker. Racing back for it, Ken Venus. Up along the boards, Cunniff for Gelardi. Or for Feeney, rather. Feeney's pass in the middle is intercepted by Tucker, who sends it back to the safety of the neutral zone. And a delayed and now whistled for an offside. Face off will come outside of the Christopher Columbus blue line with 13.58 left to go for his period. Both teams trying to get the feel of each other during this first few opening minutes here, bringing not many testing shots. Two second lines match up now. And we were impressed earlier with the depth of the Don Bosco Bears team. No question about them. Volstad now sends it back in the neutral zone, and now it's quickly sent right back in. Considine first man back. Tries to start out of the zone. A quick shot in and a save. Gelardi with the bid. Puck is loose in the crease area. Still flailed at and finally frozen for a faceoff. Which will come now to the left glove side of Vacher. A couple of anxious moments there for CC. Free goal. You almost had a free goal there, Bernie. A goal that went off the goaltender's head there. And that's something you can't give up in the early going of a championship game. It really could demoralize the team mentally. Mochio wins the drawback, but now it's Gelardi racing in for Bosco. His pass back to McDonald is broken up now. Bosco sends the puck right back in. On it there. Considine, his pass ahead is stolen away. Gelardi sweeps in. Pass into the slot area. Bouncing puck. Still loose. Now Gelardi with a turnaround shot and a, and a save. Rebound is stoned by Vacher as he slides across. He's lost both his stick and his stick hand. Gelardi now flails at a bouncing puck. It goes wide. Puck loose now to the corner. Sent through in front and deflected in. And it looks like, well, we'll see who's going to get credit for it. It was deflected from the goal mouth. And it looks like that goal is going to go to Bob Concannon, the last man to touch it. We'll wait and see in the official word. At any rate, Bosco's taking the lead just two minutes into this one. It was a mix-up mix -up between Constantine and Vacha in front of the net trying to exchange each other's stick. Bosco took advantage of that, throwing the puck in front of the net. I think it was Flamini that scored the goal. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait for the announcement. 
And we'll wait and see. Tucker now loses control in the defensive zone. Plays it off to his partner, Joe Donovan. Donovan sends it back and ahead quickly. A break now for CC. Shot in and a save. There's a quick bid there for Tom Carroll. He was a goal scorer last night for the Friars. And Bosco, Mike Bregan, the third line centerman, sends it back into the offensive zone. Tucker, first man back. Up for Carroll. Carroll to Rich McKenna. McKenna has a man with him. Sullivan tries to slide it across, and the play is broken up nicely. Good defensive play there by Monticello. As he got to handle a two-on-one. Now Venus on the rush offensively. Has it knocked away by Tucker, then sends it back in behind the net deep. Dennis Bolstad has it stripped away. Trying to set a play now. Arthur Brown sends it back to the point. A bouncing puck on the drive. As Elsmore loses possession. Into the offensive zone, Sullivan and ahead of the play was Carroll, I believe, whistled for the offside. The faceoff will come back to the neutral zone. 11.47 left first period. Don Bosco on the board first. Bosco having a bit of the scoring opportunities here. Pretty much taking the play to Christopher Columbus. He's going to effect a four-check, double four-check, two man. Christopher Columbus is going to have to do a better job in front of the net. Well, we know that Bosco has got some pretty good scoring capabilities from their first two lines in particular, and open men will put it home. No question about that. Play on. Columbus on the offensive rush. Now broken up. Arthur Brown the other way for Bosco. Loses into Considine, who tries to clear the zone. Can't do it. Now into the zone quickly, circling the net. Bailey sends it back to the point now. Teed up for the drive and a save. As Macho was equal to the task. Elsmore with the big drive from the left point. And Craig Bailey was injured earlier in the season when we saw Don Bosco. He is back on the blue line, number two. Look for him tonight. Joe McCabe very happy to have him back. He's not happy. He's got two other players out. Eric Vaughn out with an ankle injury and Todd Boylan and the top forwards out with a shoulder injury. Well, both of those guys were injured in a 4 to nothing loss against BC High. The only loss for Don Bosco is they are 3-1 and one coming into this one. So that loss was even more costly. First unit on for Bosco, Kevin Feeney, David Cunniff, and Arthur Brown. And they're going to be opposed by the second unit for CC. Mochio, Mochio, Stillman, and Fulham. And a shot and a goal right off the draw. As Kevin Feeney, I believe, will get that one. And Bosco is going to take a 2 to nothing lead now. And we're less than four minutes into this one. 11.07 left to play. Here in the first period. Sloppy play, play by Columbus off the face up. As you see, Feeney takes it off the backhand, beats him high to the glove side. 2 nothing, Bosco. Well, just like that. Bosco has opened this one up in the early going. And the play is whistled. The net off its pins. That's something we saw quite a bit of <laughs> over at UMass Boston on our Catholic Conference hockey, our first evening of the season back a week and a half ago, and it doesn't usually happen that often over here at Walter Brown Arena, Dave, once in a while. Once in a while. One thing against Bosco you can't do, you can't afford to make many mistakes in your own end. They're a very disciplined team. They take advantage of other teams' mistakes, and they don't make many mistakes of their own, so usually they're involved in low-scoring games, and right now they're out 2 nothing. It's going to be kind of hard to come back with Vaughn in the net. Well, Tucker is pinned by Gillardi. He manages to play the puck ahead, though. Starting it back into center ice. Moshio. Crossing from right to left. Goes in deep. Avoids Municello. Drops it in front. And Brian Stillman, if it had a stick on the ice there, would have had a bid. And now a quick break the other way. Gelardi carrying. Gelardi sweeps it with the backhand. And Vacha was able to make the save. And it looks like a bit of heavy contact there. He's a little bit slow to get up. The faceoff will come in the Christopher Columbus zone. Gelati protecting the puck well, going around the Christopher Columbus defenseman. He's tripped up, went into Vacha. Looks like he just got the wind knocked out, a little equipment repair. Well, grateful for the timeout as CC has fallen behind two to nothing earlier, early in this one. They are two and two coming into this one. Of course, coming off a win last evening, six to three over South Boston. 
take a look, see how Voucher got hurt. Yeah, you know, just like he got ran into the post. Got himself sandwiched there, Gelardi, and also Dennis Bolstad, the defender for Christopher Columbus, complicated matters a bit as he was trying to cut the angle. Well, I did a good job protecting the puck there. Then again, you got Bolstad did a good job tipping him up. Well, he didn't get the penalty because he went for the puck. Pretty a judgment call there by a referee and decide whether he was going for the puck or whether he was trying to trip the man up. And Joe McCabe will match his third line against the first unit of Christopher Columbus. Puck kept in immediately. Bailey makes the pass across. Shot in. And a save by Vacha. Puck loose in behind the net. McHale trying to make a play now. It's Bregan. Back to the point. Elsmore with the drive through traffic. It's deflected side of the net. Bregan has it roll off his stick as he looks for a bid. Considine now loses behind the net. Picked up there by Donovan. Puck loose in the crease area. And Vacha manages to slide back and tie it up for a faceoff, which will come to his right stick side. 9.57 left to play here. Opening period of the championship game of the All-Boston Hockey Tourney. Christopher Columbus doesn't tighten up the own in. We might have another blowout on our hands, Bernie. Well, I was, I was fearful of the same thing. And <laughs> you've, you've said it, Dave. No question about it. Feeney with a drive in off the faceoff. He was a goal scorer a moment ago. Vacher equal to the task that time. Pass back for Feeney. Deflects to Municello. And the puck had just hopped over the line enough for the play to be whistled for offside. So the faceoff will come now to the far to the left glove side of Bill Vacha, the senior netminder for the Christopher Columbus Friars. On the draw, puck deflects into the Columbus zone. Considine sends the puck ahead. Now Feeney tries to spot Arthur Brown. The pass too long. Considine in behind the net. Loses his stick. Now loses possession. Tom Carroll trying to skate it out now for the Friars. Up the left wing board. Center ice head of steam. Dumps it ahead into the zone. Vaughn out of the net to play it. Up along the boards now. Brown. Pass in the middle is broken up by Carroll. Now Danny Sullivan. Sullivan also putting up some offensive numbers last evening. Now Venus the other way. Pass ahead into center ice. Is collected there. And then Carroll from Mochio losing possession. And it's sent back in by Brian McDonald. Bosco once again forechecking successfully. Pass ahead in front, and a bit by Gelardi goes wide. Mochio racing in behind his own net, has it broken up. Loose puck. Now walking out on Cannon towards the net. Loses. Stillman on a break the other way. Stillman tries to slide it back. Carroll's shot is deflected as he was forced to the backhand. Now Con Cannon. Wheeling over the line. Concanon with a step. Concanon's in a save by Vacher as he slides across and now pounces on the loose puck in the faceoff circle. And the draw will come to his left glove side. Alertly there, avoiding any second or third chance for the Don Bosco Bears, Dave. Well, the reason Don Bosco's where they are right now at 3-1 and one, and the reason they beat Zavarian successfully the first night we saw them is their team speed, and they're really using that tonight. Really using it to their advantage, moving their legs well. Taking some of the Christopher Columbus players on one-on-one -on -one and beating them with their speed. And if they're going to be, if they're going to win this tournament. That's what they're going to do, and they've done it successfully so far tonight. Sullivan races out of the zone immediately and sends it back in behind the Bosco net, dug out there, and sent in front by Carroll. And Vaughn will wisely hang on and get the face off to his glove side. So no second chance at that end of the ice either. 7:51 left to play first period. It's Don Bosco leading two to nothing over the Friars of Christopher Columbus. On the draw, Carroll walks in for the backhand, deflected to the corner. And now, Venus starts it the other way. Venus with a head of steam, leading the rush with a shift, and has it poked away as Constantine covers up for his partner nicely. Helping out Joe Donovan. Donovan now with it along the boards. Sends it right back to the Bosco line. Venus's pass is too far ahead for everybody. Bouncing puck now. 
Sent into the middle. McHale trying to find Considine with the pass. Big a man in the crease. And Police off will come outside. An immediate whistle. Right you are, Dave, with the man in the crease area. Face off coming back into the neutral zone with 7.20 left first period. Take a look at Daniel Sullivan, 5'9", junior, out of Charlestown, Massachusetts. His first line was one we were told to give very strict attention to, Sullivan, McKenna, and Carroll. And they figured prominently in the scoring last night. Sullivan with a hat trick, Carroll with two goals and three assists. Well, they certainly enjoyed a point night for those two. Good offensive combination for Coach Paul Cedarchuk. Now you see Dan Sullivan. Hat trick against South Boston. Lead his team to a 6-3 victory last evening. On the draw, the puck deflects into the Friars zone. Tucker rides it back to the Don Bosco end of the ice. Bailey controlling left wing side. Bailey going in deep. Check there. Puck loose side of the net. And Vacher has seen enough. He decides to freeze it right up against the post. Face off will come to his glove side. First period of action. Don Bosco leading 2 to nothing. Here from Walter Brown Arena. Bosco doing a great job on their forecheck. They're using a double forecheck. And the reason they've been so successful is their second guy has been reading well, really anticipating the play well, getting to the man with the puck. Now Feeney carrying in front. Puck bouncing away from Cunniff. Now Cunniff goes in deep. Cunniff battling there with Mocho. And they managed to clear the zone, but right back in goes Don Bosco. Trying to press once again, unable to get it in deep. Now carrying over the line, Mocho's broken up. And back comes Brown. Brown carrying right wing side, fakes the shot. Starts to move on Tucker, pulls it away. Now loses his stick. Centered now by Feeney. And now Bailey from the point keeps it in. Or Venus, rather. Now Sullivan. Pass ahead too far for Fulham. Venus with the long lead pass for Gelardi. That was broken up at the line. Heads up defensive play by Joe Donovan for the Friars. Faceoff will come back in the neutral zone. 5.55 left to go first period. And not surprisingly, Dave, talking to Joe McKay before the game, he wants to skate, and he knows that, on the other hand, Christopher Columbus is going to want to slow his team down. So it's going to be opposing styles in this one. Sullivan sends the puck along to the Don Bosco zone. Bosco quickly on the breakout. Now carrying it, Gelardi. Gelardi with a quick shot, and it goes wide. Rebound goes all the way through the slot area. Now kept in from the point. McDonald with a turnaround shot through traffic. It's deflected back to the sideboards. And the play is whistled dead. Face off will come in the neutral zone. Far to the left glove side of Bill Vacha. The reason they blew that play dead, one of the... Bosco players lost his helmet. Brian McDonald. Once a player loses his helmet, they have to blow the whistle. A new rule. Got a look at Tom Carroll. As we mentioned, five points last evening for him. Two goals and three assists. Sullivan pokes the puck back to the Bosco zone. Quickly ridden out. Back in behind the net. Volstad starts to break out. Now Sullivan. Carroll in deep. Broken up there by Bailey. Considine with a big drive. Deflected in front. McKenna right from the crease area. And Vaughn manages to smother it for a faceoff. Plenty of company there for the Don Bosco netminder, Dave. Christopher Columbus is going to have to capitalize on opportunities like that because they don't make many mistakes. Bosco doesn't make many mistakes in their own end like that. A second or third opportunity for McKenna and Carroll. They're not going to find many of those tonight. You have to make the most of them, no question about it. McKenna on the draw. Yeah, just to tie up his opposing centerman, Mike Bregan. Puck loose underneath Bregan. We'll do it all over again. 
to the right stick side of Harry Vaughn, the Don Bosco netminder. Under five minutes to go, first period. McKenna starts to walk in off the draw. Is now tied up. Reagan races in behind his own net. Starts it up the left wing side. Pass ahead too long for McHale. Now it's Donovan. His pass is stolen away. Bregan leads McHale into the zone. McHale now. The semi-headlock from Donovan along the boards. Bregan, or McHale rather, to Bregan. Shot and a save. Rebound loose through the slot. Collected there by McHale. Off for Bailey. Bailey in to play a little offense now off the point. Bailey's backhand is deflected off of Donovan. And the zone is finally cleared by CC. Sent right back in again by Ken Venus, the captain. Loose in behind the net, jousting there, Donovan and McHale. And now Bregan is also in, as is McKenna. And that'll result in a face-off to the right stick side of Rich Vasha, or Bill Vasha, rather. Not a bad play by Donovan. Bosco was trying to, starting to put some pressure on him. Donovan realized that Columbus needed a change, tied it up. Down to 4 3 left first period. Two early goals for Don Bosco, and that has been the extent of the scoring in this one. Able to click twice in the first four minutes. Now Ken Venus at center ice. Throws it in, no offside there. Looks like Bosco had not quite cleared the zone. Venus now owns zone. Pass ahead. Now Brown with it. Brown sends it in deep. Tucker. Pass off the stick of Carroll into the zone. Now a shot in by Fulham, a save. Vaughn has really only been tested once here in the first period. That shot from out on the perimeter. Now carrying into the zone. Conniff in front to Brown. A save off the backhand. Vacha sprawls to the ice. Monticello now right point. Sends it in. Centering pass through in front. Nobody home. Now Venus will try it. Venus from the circle deflected wide off the stick of Feeney as he tried the redirect. Now Feeney with it bouncing puck through wide of the net. As Don Bosco is buzzing. And finally the puck is sent to the safety of the neutral zone. Stillman managing to clear it for the Friars. The beleaguered Friars here through this sequence. Now with it, Danny Sullivan moving cross ice, sends it back into the zone. Monticello, first man there, and we have what looks to be our first penalty. Too many men on the ice for Bosco, I believe. The play was whistled right in front of the Don Bosco bench, so if that is the case, which I believe it is, it's our first opportunity to look at either power play unit. Christopher Columbus down two goals. We'll have a chance to cut it in half, Dave. It's going to be a good opportunity for Christopher Columbus to get cut this lead to one before they go into the uh, intermission of first and second period. Here is Joe McCabe. McCabe, the veteran assistant coach of a tournament rich in winning, Matt Neon Hockey. And Kevin Feeney will be serving the penalty for the Bears. On the power play now, the Friars, Sullivan carries into the zone. Is checked immediately by Venus. Sends it back in behind there. Carroll starts it in front and missed as he tried to connect to the far side. Off the point now, Donovan, bouncing puck, keeps it in momentarily. Now out over the line, Gelardi collects, drops it back for Venus, and Venus drives it off the boards. Back to the Columbus zone. Sullivan starts in, it's broken up there by Venus. And it looks like Venus is going to impress us for the second night in a row. A very strong first period. Just all over the ice. And it's Venus once again who picks an opening and drives it the length of the ice. Christopher Columbus has to get the puck in Don Bosco's zone and establish his zone before they can muster any offense. Constantine's pass out of the zone is broken up. Now Gilardi swinging in behind the net. Killing some time on this penalty situation. Bosco a man down. Bailey drives it wide. Long rebound up and out of the zone. Venus will pick it up there. Send it right back in again. We're down toward 15 seconds on a penalty to Don Bosco, on which Columbus has yet to have a shot. Bailey now in front. A short-handed effort for Concannon. 
And Don Bosco takes a 3 to nothing lead. Concanon will get the goal. Bob Concanon off the feed from Bailey. Christopher Columbus got itself in trouble by trying to make the home run pass on a power play, and that's something you can't do, especially in this rink. You're going to be successful on a power play after to make those short, crisp passes, and Christopher Columbus failed to do so, and Bailey picked up a loose puck, capitalized on a mis miscue by Christopher Columbus at center ice, came down the right side, found Concanon all alone in front of that, and he capitalized. Well, we're getting an idea as to why Joe McCabe missed Craig Bailey on the blue line in the first game of the season. Glad to have him back. Tucker with a drive off the ensuing faceoff, and Vaughn deflects that up and out of play to his glove side. Faceoff will come inside the Don Bosco zone to the stick side of Harry Vaughn, the veteran netminder for Don Bosco. McKenna will take the draw with Bregan. Bregan wins it back to Bailey, who set that goal up a moment ago. Now McHale. Ahead for Bregan. Bregan has it poked away. Puck rolling in behind the net. Bolstad and McHale battle for it. Bolstad now. Trying to clear it up the boards. Can't do it. Bregan with it. Still with it. Now has it roll off his stick. Bailey now. Cheats in offensively. Bailey's going to walk in front. A save and the puck quick whistle. Referee losing sight of that one. And a break for Bill Vach, who had all kinds of trouble in the form of many bears around the crease. Christopher Columbus is getting himself in trouble trying to beat the, some of the Don Bosco players one-on-one. -on -one. They're getting over through center ice, trying to dipsy-doodle around some of the Bosco players, and Don Bosco just has too many talented defensemen and forwards to do that. You have to get to the red line, dump the puck in if they're going to be effective and establish a forecheck. Well, we're down within a minute. 37 seconds left in the opening period. Don Bosco in early control of this one with a three-goal lead. On the draw, Sullivan skates it out for Columbus. Pass ahead for Carroll. They were the combination last night, combining for five of the six goals for the Friars. Now broken up by Bregan. Pass to McHale. A little bit of a knuckleball, and Boccia with some problems handling that one. Reagan, first man into the zone, sends it in front, bouncing puck, throw and a goal. And that one's going to go to Glenn Considine. Again, good forecheck will always pay off. Bosco, again, doing a great job forechecking that second man, reading nice intercept in the pass, center in front to Considine. See right here. Getting the puck into the corner, finds Considine all alone in front of the net. Christopher Columbus has to do a better job in front of their own end, making sure they're tying up guys. They're standing next to him, but they're not tying him up. They're allowing Don Bosco to take advantage of passes that are being made out front. They're getting free for those good scoring opportunities, and as a result, we've got a 4 to nothing hockey game. Less than 10 seconds now. First period of action. Constant 9 back. There was a constant 9 on both teams, as a matter of fact. One second, and Venus will hang on to it. And that will end period number one. We have completed 15 minutes here in the final game of the All-Boston Hockey Tournament. The score at the end of one, Don Bosco four, and Christopher Columbus nothing. We'll be back with second period action. that the best time to call about my bill is a day or two after I receive it. Hello, Cablevision? We found most of our customer calls concern their payment. Check the date you mailed your payment and compare that to the date on your bill that says, includes payments received by. Most customers find that when they call, their payment has been credited to their account. If you do call, the best times are weekdays from 9 to 11 a.m. and 3 to 5 p.m. So, if you have a question concerning your bill, in Boston, call 787-6630, and in Brookline, call 731-1343. Thank you. It's that easy. People are discovering the difference with Cablevision. And we are back at Walter Brown Arena, the campus of the Boston University Terriers, home to the All-Boston Hockey Tournament, the first annual endeavor. 
And at the end of the first period of this championship game, it is Don Bosco out to a 4 to nothing lead over Christopher Columbus. There you see the first period scoring. The uh, first goal, Bob Kincannon from McDonald and Gilardi. That kind of got things rolling from Bosco. A mix-up in front between Constantine and goalie Vouch, and things just kept getting better and better for Bosco. And they are now at 4 to nothing as the fires of Christopher Columbus in desperate need of the next goal in this hockey game to climb back in it. Just 15 seconds into the second period, the play whistle dead. The faceoff will be coming right in front of Joe McCabe and the Don Bosco bench. The draw between Kevin Feeney and Rich McKenna. McKenna wins the draw back to Tucker. Tucker backhands it in deep to the Don Bosco zone. Vaughn leaves it there. Bailey to Venus, ahead to Cunniff. Cunniff starts it up the right wing boards. Looks to the middle to Feeney. Feeney tries to drop it to Brown, can't do it. And now Carroll with a head of steam the other way. Tom Carroll tries to penetrate through, and he's taken by Ken Venus. Once again, fundamentally sound. Carroll now with a shot, and Venus managed to get a piece of that one. And now Feeney with a two-on-two -two at the moment. Feeney has a man with him, broken up by Bolstad. Sullivan trying to play it ahead. Now Bolstad does back to the Bosco line. Venus will drive it way up <laughs> into the stands there. Result in a faceoff back inside the Don Bosco line. Far to the left glove side of Harry Vaughn, number 30, the Don Bosco netminder. Christopher Columbus has really dug itself into a hole with Harry Vaughn in there for Bosco and the fine defensive court that he has in front of him. Christopher Columbus is going to have to get a few free goals if they want to get back into this game. And against a team like Don Bosco, those things just don't happen very often. That is certainly the case. Bosco, second unit, Gilardi, McDonald, and Concannon. Concannon, a two-goal score in the first period, go offside. So the faceoff back in the neutral zone. Gilardi lining up with Jim Moshio. Moshio slaps the draw to line mate Stillman. Stillman back to Joe Donovan. Donovan drives it out, neutral zone, played there by Bailey. Ahead and back to the Columbus zone. Considine clears it up over the line. John Cannon right back in again. Donovan up for Stillman. Bailey there to intercept. And now Gilardi has Con Cannon with him. Gilardi soft pass to Con Cannon, back to Gilardi, and a goal. Pretty passing combination. Puts the Bears ahead 5 to nothing with 13.26 left second period. One of the Christopher Columbus defensemen got caught up ice. You see here Gilardi coming down with Concanon. Nice give and go. Constantine kind of got caught up in the middle there. Crossed his feet over. Couldn't get over to Constantine. Constantine couldn't get over to cover Gilardi and makes it 5 nothing Bosco. Well, the first game. And here a break from Moshio. Moshio in. And tries the flip shot. The puck was caught on it on the side there. Not much else he could have done in that situation. Vaughn able to hold his ground. And right off the ensuing draw, Columbus almost getting themselves on the scoreboard in this one. Face off now between Moshio and Bregan. Draw is controlled by Venus. The Don Bosco captain. Up around the boards for McHale. McHale in the middle to Bregan. Bregan and McHale cross over the line. Reagan with a drive wide to the near side. Stillman tries to clear it. Venus there to steal it right down the slot. Backhand to save off the stick of McHale. Monticello now right point. Now slot area. Bregan falls down. Gets up, but too late. As the Friars manage to clear the zone. Now back up and over the line. Play broken up. Stillman with the bid. And that will result in an icing call and a face-off back in the Don Bosco zone with 12.31 left to go second period. Christopher Columbus continues to struggle in its own end. Really, they, they, they haven't made many mistakes. They haven't made a lot of mistakes tonight. And Bosco has been able to capitalize on a majority of the mistakes, and they just they just cannot afford to continue to make the mistakes they're making against Bosco. They are making them pay, no question about that. Craig Bailey, injured earlier in the season, a thigh injury, kept him out of the first two games for Don Bosco. His pass ahead 
deflects off of Feeney. Now backing the play up and penetrating momentarily is Elsmore. He's broken up. Now suddenly alone out to Brown tries to hit the far corner. Shot whistled wide. Feeney will try to get a face off. He's covered along the boards. Puck now rolls loose in front of the net. Tucker there to clear it. Ahead now to Sullivan. Dan Sullivan pass ahead too long for Carroll. Carroll now has a step on Elsmore, goes behind the net. Feeney back to play it. Sends it back against the flow. And quickly out of the zone. Bolstad races back. Banks it up off the boards for Carroll. Carroll's pass is intercepted by Concanon. Concanon banks it off the boards to Feeney, who sends it in deep. Bolstad, first man back for Christopher Columbus. For Sullivan. Sullivan to Carroll. Carroll working with Moshio. Return pass for Sullivan is broken up by Ken Venus. And the play is going to be whistled dead there with 11-14 left to play second period. The toughest thing for the defenseman to do is when you have a forward coming down on your full speed and he dumps a puck in, that transition from skating backwards to turn around and skating forward in the front. And if Christopher Columbus wants to get back into the game, that's what they're going to have to do. Make these Don Bosco defensemen do things like that. Make it difficult for them. They're making life too easy for Bosco defensemen. And they're, too good to no they're too good for things like that. And now, Gelardi quickly into the offensive zone. The bid was steered aside by Vasha. Now Donovan has it knocked away. Gelardi wheels in front. Tries the short side. And misses. Donovan tries to clear the zone. Can't do it. Venus cheats in offensively. Starts it in front. Tried it to send it to the slot area. Had it knocked away. A long lead pass ahead. Mahoney over the line. Drive bounces in behind the net. Monticello on it. Monticello neatly away from Stillman. Pass ahead. Tom Cannon. And he'll send it right back into the prior zone as Don Bosco gets some fresh troops aboard. Donovan, long lead pass. He's too far ahead from Matthews. And now a break the other way. Bregan off for Cliff McHale. Back for Bregan. Bregan with the backhand just wide. Rebound pops around behind the net. Matthews there. Matthews now wrestling in behind the net. Constantine pokes it around the boards but not out. Elsmore drive through traffic well wide. Collected there by Glenn Considine. There's a Considine on each side. Puck to flex up in the air and into the stands, and that'll result in a faceoff. Looks to be in the zone in the judgment of the officials. So it will come to the left glove side of Bill Vacha. Vacha, the Christopher Columbus Friar goaltender. 9.38 left to go, second period. Think about Don Bosco and makes them such a good team. They're such a well coached team, very disciplined team. They stick to their game plan very well. You know, they, re they really don't make many mistakes, and that's what's gonna that's why it's so tough for teams like Christopher Columbus or any team for that matter that gets down to them to come back against them. Well, they must have been really flat, Dave, to come out and lose four to nothing to BC High, and I guess yeah. that is a testament to how tough the Catholic Conference is. You it sure is. You can't afford to come out and not be mentally ready to play or else you're going to pay for it on a given evening. Face off once again in the Christopher Columbus zone. Brar is controlled by Bolstead ahead to Carroll. Carroll drives it off the boards. Back into the Bears end of the rink. Bailey swings the net. Pass ahead too far for Brown. Collected by Mosho. He has it hop off his stick. Now Bolstad. I head to Carroll. Carroll starts in on the defense and broken up. As Bailey combining neatly with Elsmore. Two defensemen working well together there. Cleared back into the CC zone. Tucker to Carroll. Carroll trying to spot Sullivan. Couldn't do it. Elsmore there to steal it. Send it along ahead. Bouncing puck. And it looks like stick above the shoulder, hand pass, take your pick, whatever you want. <laughs> All kinds of things going on as the puck goes into the air and faceoff will come outside the zone. Or actually the faceoff will come back all the way to the Don Bosco zone. Don Bosco player with the stick high, so 
faceoff will come to the left glove side of Harry Vaughn with 8.38 left second period as we see Coach Paul Cedichuk not very happy so far in this one no. with the effort of his Christopher Columbu Columbus Friars and the Bosco Bears started back offensively once again into the zone and play whistled offside that shift. first unit out there for Bosco a shift prior to this like four times Christopher Columbus had the opportunity to skid over the red line had the opportunity to dump it in but they tried to dipsy doodle around the Bosco defense but I don't want to sound redundant but that's, that's going to be the key to, to defeating Bosco or getting back in this game and they just refused to do it Feeney with the drive from top of the circle goes wide short side now loose along the boards Monticello there to play it drive in well wide by Cunniff off the right wing side hustling in now Cunniff penetrates moves across the slot bouncing puck Brown couldn't control it now Monticello backhands it in behind the Columbus net. Donovan plays it up along the boards for Matthews. He has it broken up. Now Donovan regains possession. He just wants to clear the zone here if possible. Joe Donovan up along the boards. Sends it back to the Bosco zone. Long lead pass off the stick of Feeney. A foot race here. And Considine sends Feeney sprawling. It's a good bit of acting on the part of Feeney there to try to draw a late call. <laughs> At any rate, Vasja was able to tie it up for a faceoff, which will come to his glove side. Well, you're never guilty of such sins oh, on the ice, Dave. Is absolutely not. Acting to get a call <laughs> in any situation. A little Hollywood in every hockey player, I guess. <laughs> well, you are a performer for that time on the ice. There's no question about that. Puck loose in the circle, off the draw. Now McDonald tries it. His shot is blocked by Bolstad. Loose at the side of the net, Con Cannon. The net is empty. He swings the net, tries to find an open man in front, can't do it. And it's finally cleared back to the safety of the neutral zone by Carroll. But guess what? Bosco sends it right back in to press once again. Tucker tied up. Bounces it off the boards for Carroll. Carroll trying to clear the zone, can't do it. Gelati there. Gelati to McDonald, not a Con Cannon. Con Cannon trying to make a play to the slot. Con Cannon still with it. Away from Tucker, trying to muscle it in front. Now Elsmore. Off the left point, loose puck in front. And Vacha was able to smother it. And then he ended up with Con Cannon right on top of him as Tucker, Danny Tucker, dumped Con Cannon right on the doorstep. A penalty coming up. This is the Columbus Thomas Carroll will be going off. And then catch the call. Well, they're down 5 nothing, and now they're going to go down a man. Well, actually, it'll be uh, Fulham, Ed Fulham, in the box. And that's not what Paul Cedarchuk was hoping for. Already trailing by 5. Now, on the disadvantage, Elsmore into Brown. Pass in front is poked away. Bouncing puck through, and Tucker is able to clear it. Feeney. Trying to work the puck with Brown. Now it's sent back to the point, kept in. Puck loose in front. Point blank, a save, and Boncher has seen enough there. He's playing goal and defense at the same time, Dave. Any loose pucks, he's just jumping out of the crease and tying them up. The reason Christopher Columbus had problems on their first power play, as I mentioned earlier, was because they were trying to make that long home run pass. So as you see, Bosco here applying some pressure on their power play because they make the short pass. You hit the open man, they try to throw their box out of, throw Christopher Columbus' box out of, box out of sink, and they're doing it successfully. You've got to look for that overshift. Hope to get it anyway. Elsmore ahead to Brown. They carry into the zone this time. Now Feeney with the drive. Volstad was there to thwart that one. Now Brown swings face-off circle, tries to send it back. Puck deflects off of Sullivan, still bouncing around, and Sullivan finally sends it to the safety of the neutral zone. Coming out of 30 seconds to go on the prior penalty to Ed Fulham. Now a crazy rebound there. A little bit of a mix-up by Bosco, and a bid from Moshio goes wide. Now Ken Venus, right wing side, starts into the zone. Venus carries around a couple of guys, sends it in front, loose puck, 
and Brown just fanned on the rebound. A golden opportunity by the boards. Venus trying to make the play back to the center point, and it's broken up now by Sullivan. Sullivan with a long drive, and it's well wide and over the Bosco cage. Penalty expired. Both teams at full strength now. Venus starts to lug it in. Drops it off for Bregan. Bregan's pass in front is deflected. And now a two-on-one. Carroll and Sullivan. Carroll goes for the drive, and Municello just threw a stick in front of that one. Carroll never got the shot off. And now quickly the other way, a two-on-one. McHale and Considine. Considine's lead pass too long for McHale. Bregan into the zone. Sends it back to the point. Drive in his glove. And Vacha throwing his stick in the face of Cliff McHale. As he managed to hang on to that one for a faceoff. 4.38 left to go second period. Vacha doing a good job sensing when Christopher Columbus is in trouble tying up the puck. Never a bad move to tie up the puck to get a change. Settle things down. And we see Coach Joe McCabe, and we kidded around with him at opener of the Catholic Conference about that green Marty Pierce-style jacket, Dave. <laughs> Spent 13 years with him, and they shop in the same stores, I guess. <laughs> Bosco with a bit off the draw. Stopped by the defense. Puck back now to the Don Bosco zone. Municello throws it back neutral zone. Tucker first man there to Stillman. He has it poked away by Municello. Now McDonnell deflects it in behind the CC net. Donovan around the boards for Stillman. Stillman, lead pass for Mahoney. Mahoney working by Bailey. Puck rolls in, and Vaughn is there to pounce on it for a faceoff. Faceoff will come to his right stick side. 3.57 left to go. Second period, the championship game of the first annual All-Boston Hockey Tournament being played in a building which neither Dave Quinn or myself is a stranger <laughs> to, Dave. This is just like being at home, actually. I can't remember the last time I sat in the stands and watched the game. Well, I haven't been I'm doing it all season, but sitting up in the stands is a different treat. Certainly is. A little bit of a different perspective. And Didn't realize how cold it was in this ring. <laughs> yeah, depending on the amount of bodies you have in and the body heat being generated, it does make a heck of a difference. Play on now. Bosco breaks it back. McDonald pass ahead too long for Gelati. And now Tucker leads the break left wing side. Tucker goes for the big drive. And it was partially deflected and easily handled by Vaughn for the draw. Bosco leading 5-0. In command here, 3.37 left second period as we see Harry Vaughn. Very sharp in the nets for Bosco with what little he has had to handle in the way of Columbus offense. On the draw, Gelati wins it. Back to Captain Ken Venus. Venus lead pass. Gelati, Gelati with a step on Tucker, takes it in front, and the rebound, a goal. Gelati lugging it all the way down, and a little bit of help from, I believe, Bob Concanon. Great job by Gelati. Did a great job using his legs, bringing the defenseman wide. You see him coming down the right side here. Christopher Columbus forward should have taken that man a little more cleanly. That's been Christopher Columbus's problem all night. They get close to a guy, they think they have him covered instead of getting in his jersey, picking up his stick and making sure he doesn't have any chance at a rebound like that. And it looks like, and it was Bob Concanon. We could not pick up the number from our vantage point. He was there to collect Concanon's third goal of the game. It's the hat trick. That's right. He has completed the hat trick in less than two periods. So a night's work already for him. Mocho sends it back to the Don Bosco zone as they start the breakout. Pass ahead in the middle, Feeney over the line, crisscrossing with Cunniff, sends it through, and it's sticked wide by Vacha. Carrying it behind the net, Sullivan trying to clear the zone, can't do it. And the puck is deflected up and out of play by Ken Poole. 6 nothing. Don Bosco in front, the championship game of the All-Boston Hockey Tournament, and it's like Bob Concanon is making a run at that MVP award. He had a goal last night, Dave, and he's got half the offense for Don Bosco here tonight. He's got a lot of help from his line mates. Well, he certainly has. That second unit is as strong as, I would venture to say, many public school units around Eastern Mass. 
Hunt and I trying to clear the zone. Now Carroll carrying the other way. Carroll through one man. Tries to make the drop pass. Can't do it. Puck to flex back to the CC line. Donovan now in turn to Craig Bailey. Now Ken Poole back to play it. His pass ahead goes beyond everyone. Considine now to Sullivan. Puck deflecting in the direction of Carroll. Still bouncing around. Poole clears it up along the boards now for McDonald. McDonald. Nice to play it off to Paul Rogers as the fourth line making its first appearance for Don Bosco with a six to nothing lead and two minutes even left to go second period. Take a look at Thomas Carroll. Well, Carroll had a big night last uh, yeah. evening. Two goals and three assists. Could have been disappointed. Certainly has. Has to be disappointed indeed. He, he and Dan Sullivan combining for five of the six goals in the CC victory over South Boston High. Ken Venus sends it back to the Columbus zone. Tucker back for it. Outlets it ahead to Fulham. He has it broken up. Venus now throws it back, but offside and shaking his head a little bit upset with himself is Mike Flamini. That third unit, or actually a makeshift unit with Fulham dropping down to, to team up with number nine Wadman and 14 Flamini. We haven't seen much of them so far tonight. Both teams are substituting a little bit more freely. Drive now off the stick of Bregan is sticked aside. Loose behind the net, McHale battling into the corner. Lamini on it there, or Wadman rather. Trying to clear the zone, can't do it. Kept in a drive, bouncing in front. Wants a dime with the bid. Now McHale carrying, trying to set up a play. He has it broken up. Loose now to the neutral zone. McHale run immediately by Bolstad at the line. Down less than a minute to go, second period. Tucker. Ahead to Fulham. Fulham in the middle has it knocked away off the stick of Wadman. Bolstead now away from one man. Clears it but not out. Kept in by Ken Poole. Now wheeling into the zone. Con Cannon, he's already got three tonight. Con Cannon circles the net. Looks to the slot. Makes the pass. Now Poole will tee it up. Drive in front, loose. And it looks like one slap the, shot caught Ken Cannon off the knee. As he was trying to set a play to the slot, the puck ended up at the point on the stick of Ken Poole, who drove. And it is Bob Con Cannon who got the brunt of that shot. And he did get it off the knee. Right you are, Dave. Last thing Coach Joe McCabe can afford is to lose Ken Cannon. We already have two injuries. We mentioned earlier Todd Boylan out with a shoulder injury, Eric Vaughn out with an ankle injury. Only a junior, Bob Codd Cannon, so. It's been impressive. Three goals today, as you see there. Four points in the tournament. One of the candidates for tournament MVP. Yeah, that's right. And we hold those ballots in our hand. We a sense of power here in the Cablevision television booth. Bernie Corbin and Dave Quinn are going to be in charge of that particular duty of awarding the MVP of this tournament. Take a look here, Elsmo with a slap shot from the point. And Cannon coming through for the screen, cut him right off the right knee. Should have just skate that off. And hopefully. Well, it looks like he's struggling skating off the ice. Con Cannon will be okay. He is very slow going to the bench. Not quite under his own power. Coach Joe McCabe giving him a hand now, directing traffic in front of the bench. 24 seconds. Left to go. Face off just below us to the left. 24 seconds left, second period. There you see our score. Don Bosco, six to nothing over Christopher Columbus in this championship game. Considine, first man back. Tries to play it up along the boards, has it stolen 
and sent in front. Now knocked away, but not out. Kept in by Poole. Pass off is thrown back in deep. Now cleared up along the board. Sullivan. Ahead to Carroll. One second. And that is going to do it for the second period of action. We have completed 30 minutes here in the championship game of the first annual All-Boston Hockey Tournament. The score at the end of two periods, Don Bosco six and Christopher Columbus nothing. We'll be back with Bob DeCristoforo, the tournament director and athletic director at Christopher Columbus in just a minute. Game of the first Boston Hockey Tournament, the score after two periods, Don Bosco six and Christopher Columbus nothing. And my guest is the director of this first annual All Boston Hockey Tournament, Bob DeCristoforo, the athletic director at Christopher Columbus. Nice to have you aboard. Thank you. Well, what about this tournament, Bob? Uh, I guess an idea that you probably had in your head for quite a while in order to promote the sport of high school hockey in Boston. And what about some of the generalities of uh, putting the whole thing together? Well, we've been trying to do it for like five years. And this is the first year all the pieces fell in place. And I think what you're seeing here is like, it's like the beginning of um, something that's going to go off in a, for a long time in the future. Well, that's certainly, uh, I'm sure, hoped for by the schools that are involved. What about some of the other Boston schools? A chance that maybe some of them can be included or expanded in the future? I would think so. This is, this is Columbus's gift to the city. Well, a very nice gift it is. The fans here are enjoying it. And I guess uh, other than the fact that the Friars are trailing six to nothing, you have to be pretty happy with the results overall of this being your first e endeavor. I think the scores don't really indicate what we're doing. This is really tremendous. You look around, you see people there, you see parents here, you see kids supporting their teams. That's what it's all about. We're having fun. Well, we certainly uh, wish you the best of luck uh, for the Friars in, in all sports. You being the athletic director, particularly in hockey, and also with hopefully the second annual All Boston Hockey Tournament next year. Nice to have you, Bob. Thank you. We'll be back with third period action. And we are back to the third period of action of the finals of the All-Boston Hockey Tournament. Don Bosco cruising into this third period, leading six to nothing and looking for more right now. The puck sent back to the point. Ken Venus with a drive and just deflected wide as Bacha, the prior netminder, managing to get a piece of it. Now it's Brown for Don Bosco. Starts in. Now sends a soft shot in. Bacha there to handle it. Dan Tucker. Pass ahead for Sullivan. Sullivan breaking over the line. Drive in. Kicked out. Kicked out again by Vaughn as McKenna with a golden opportunity on the rebound from the slot area. Bosco now starts it back. Have a substitution in the net. Dennis Kremen. Thank you very much, Dave. It was not Harry Vaughn. Bacha going all the way in the nets on the other end for the Friars. Now from the point, Elsmore is drive well wide. Puck loose to the point area, kept in by Craig Bailey. Constantine now for the Friars. Tries to feed it up the boards. Sullivan now loses control. Bailey's drive in wide, stick side. Long rebound onto the stick of Sullivan. Sullivan twirling, sending it back to the neutral zone. Con Cannon already the hat trick this evening. And he lobs it over Considine. Back into the fryer end. Now, Stillman has it hop off of his stick. Monticello sends it back. Mocho. Mocho now trying to get everybody on side. No easy task. Finally does it. Dragging it through center ice and loses it right in the circle. Buck sent in. Bacha there able to handle it. Leaves it for Donovan. Donovan avoids the four check ahead to Stillman. Stillman starts it ahead. Pass ahead is knocked away. A break the other way for Bosco. McHale's drive is well wide. And Vach has seen enough. He's going to just pounce on it and get a face off, which will come to his right stick side with 12.38 left to go. Third period from Walter Brown Arena. Mention the depth of Dom Bosco. That seems to be the big difference in the game. The only time Christopher Columbus has, has, any, has had any sustained attack is when Sullivan's line's been out there. That seems to be the difference in the game. Drive in right off the faceoff. Bacha managed to get a stick on that one. Puck sent back over the line now. Moshio, second line centerman for the Friars. Drives in an opposite corner behind Kremen. Now right out in front, an opportunity for Mahoney. He has it knocked away. 
And Bosco with the rush. McHale over the line. Looking to the middle. Throws it through in front, but nobody home in green and gold. Considine tries to slide it up. The boards can't do it. Venus now offensively. Shot in front. Handled by Vacha. Venus still with it. Drops it back to Monicello, who drives it back into the offensive zone. Pass in front. And a shot and a save off the stick of Considine. Puck loose and finally frozen beneath Bill Vacha for the faceoff. And he has been one busy guy <laughs> in this one. Really not at fault for the six goals given up by the Christopher Columbus team. Bill Vacha has stood pretty tall in the nets, in my opinion, Dave. Well, he really hasn't had much help from his forwards or defensemen for that matter. Like I mentioned earlier, they seem to get near a guy, think they have him covered, but in actuality, the guy has an opportunity to get a rebound, a stick hasn't been picked up, or the guy really isn't with him. He isn't in his jersey. There's a big difference in standing next to a guy and having your guy tied up. And that's one of the things Christopher Columbus is going to have to learn if they're going to be a successful team. Well, that's the John Shore. Up loose now into the corner. Tucker lays it up the boards for Sullivan. Sullivan cruises up through center ice, drives it in opposite corner. Uh, loose along the boards, quickly sent out. A little help from the official there. That probably would have been an icing call. Tucker now lobs it down into the stands. And that'll result in a face-off back at center ice. We're actually just to the right of center ice in front of the Don Bosco bench area with 11.25 left to go here, third period. Don Bosco in command of the final game this all Boston hockey tournament. Six to nothing leaders at this point. Elsmore drives it quickly back into the prior zone. On it there, sending it through in front as the third line is on. Kurtukas trying to find Leonard in front. Who's puck along the boards. Cleared ahead. Volstad with it. Drives it back in deep. Kremen plays it. Now starting it out. Pass too long to roll all the way back to the Columbus zone. Tucker back on it. Checked immediately. And it is to outlet it ahead to Carroll. Carroll quickly through the center ice circle. Carroll with a step in the defense. Goes for the drive. Kremen handles it. And Bailey just bats it with his hand behind the net. In order to clear the rebound. Constantine racing back for it, followed by Brown. Brown pokes it away. First unit on for Don Bosco. They are a good one. Brown starts to carry in front, bouncing puck rolls behind the net. On it quickly. Mocho, he can't clear the zone. Donovan now right in front of his own net to Stillman. Stillman, long lead pass to hit off the stick of Mahoney. Sherman now directs traffic, leaves it for Ken Venus. Venus now beats a couple of four checkers and throws it ahead. Pretty nifty effort by Ken Venus. Arthur Brown now, right wing side. Broken up by Considine. Takes it back to the line. Poole with it. Off for Venus. Trying to get it in deep, can't do it. Donovan there to play it right back to the Bosco line. Pass ahead. Off the stick of Brown. Considine there to field it for Columbus. Just passed out, is intercepted. And walking into the zone, now it's Tron Cannon. Tron Cannon shifts in front, and Donovan slides across to make the defensive play. Donovan battling in the corner, and he's tied up by Chris Gilardi. Faceoff will come to the left glove side of Bill Vacha with 9.14 left to go in the third period. Well, the same trend here as we did in the first two periods. Take a look at Chris Gilardi, two goals and two assists in the tournament tonight. Going off for a penalty. So they're saying, same trend here. Bosco really dominating early. Having, not having much problem with, the, with Christopher Columbus's breakout. Establishing the early dominance and really just taking control of the period and, in essence, taking control of the game. Well, they have managed to keep the shutout this far. Thus far, and now are a man down with Gilardi in the box. Coming down to the nine-minute mark of the third period. Tucker fields it at center ice. Starts it ahead. Over the line. Drive in. Kremen with the stop. Bouncing puck from the slot area is cleared into the safety of the neutral zone. 
Tucker starts it back left wing side, drives it in opposite corner. Elsmore first man there, slaps it up to Feeney. And Feeney sends it along its way. The length of the ice. Tucker for the Friars. Outlets it ahead. Tom Carroll. Carroll moving left wing side. Starts to the middle. A shift on the defense. And he has it poked away. A hustle play defensively by Elsmore. Cleared, but not out. Kept in Tucker now. Tucker face-off circle. Drive off a bad angle. Is blocked by Venus. Venus now takes him to the boards. Puck rolls out in the direction of Carroll. Carroll's backhand is knocked down. Flailed at and sent back into the zone by Mosio. Now Sullivan, we have a delayed call on the Friars. We'll wait and see who the guilty party is. That's going to even things up with 8.08 left third period. Tripping on Sullivan. Venus took control of the puck in front of the net. Tried to skate it over to the boards and Sullivan upended him. And that will be, that's going to be the call. Some open ice out there now, Dave, for a side. Definitely to the advantage of Don Bosco. They go to the penalty here. Venus trying to take the puck over to the boards. Sullivan upends him. Neglects the power play that they had in a 4-4 four four advantage, as I said earlier. Definitely to the advantage of Don Bosco, a much better skating club. Now the puck is knocked in over the line. And Mahoney really gets run. Bosco starts to break the other way. Cliff McHale carries over the line, moved from right to left, has it poked away by Donovan, now regains it, loses to Mahoney. And Mahoney sends it back toward the Bosco line. Craig Bailey carries, sends it in deep. Considine on it there, clears it, but not out. Bailey now walks in, face-off circle, driving a save. Rebound saved by Vacha. Puck is still loose. Considine slides across and knocks it away. Donovan now trying to clear it up. The boards can't do it. Kept in by Considine. Mahoney can't clear it. Kept in once again. Drive through traffic is deflected. And Vacha now swings in behind the net to freeze it up for a faceoff. 7-17 left, third period. And now the Bears will enjoy a power play for 39 seconds as Sullivan remains in the box. Oscar only had one power play opportunity in the first two periods. Failed to capitalize on that. 7.17 left. Puck cleared up along the boards. Donovan to Sullivan, or to Carroll, rather, who drives it back into the Bosco zone. Not pass ahead. Too long for McHale. Banked up and out of the zone by Mosho. And now Poole has it stolen away. And here comes Tom Carroll alone. And Carroll is denied as Kremen managed the two-pad slide and knock it away right at the last moment. Now a break the other way. Quickly into the zone, McHale, and he gets upended. Delayed call on the Friars as Kremen gets to the bench, but to no avail. Bosco unable to set anything up with the extra attacker. 6.32 left, third period, and after killing off a partial man down situation. Columbus will now go a man down once again. Carroll did a good job getting back. I don't think he really had to slash him. He had a good head of steam going. Maybe could have kept moving his legs and caught up to him. Not taking the penalty. Here we have a change in goalies here. A little bit of a lazy penalty, Dave, I guess you'd have to say. Botch is coming out and over it's going in. Botch did a good job for Christopher Columbus. Like we said earlier, he really didn't have much help. You know, some big saves. Always made the first save. It always seemed to be that the rebound that was in front that hurt Christopher Columbus nail it. Their lack of discipline in their own end, covering in front of their own net. Yeah, rather difficult circumstances, indeed. Face off in the Columbus zone. McDonald controlling it. McDonald knocked down by Moshio. Now Bosco sets it up, teed up for the drive from the point. Blocked in front as Bacha is able to spear it through traffic. Now Monticello in. Deals it off. Shot is blocked there. Rogers with the opportunity. And it's cleared up and out of the zone by Bolstad. Puck is cleared. 
back in the Don Bosco zone. They are on the power play right now for our next 35 seconds. They have not really looked too much offensively. Now Sullivan is in clean, and he is denied as Kremen was able to slide out and upset him. Molstad pokes it up along the boards, now loses possession. Banks back into the zone by Sullivan as he gets to the bench. Now carrying it the other way, McHale. His drive deflects up into the crowd. Or up into the netting, rather. Looks like Coach McCabe has found out that he only has one excellent goaltender, but two. Harry Vaughn, fine goaltender. Dennis Kremen, not a bad goaltender either. And also Kremen, indeed, coming on to play well here in the third period. Play back on. Puck loose. In the Columbus zone, McHale trying to set something up. Sends it to the face-off circle to Bregan. Bregan with the drive and a save. Bregan with the rebound, and he whistles it up over the cage. Cleared back now. Poole at center ice. Can't get it in deep. Picks it up again off the stick of Mahoney. And the puck deflects into the crowd. Now the face-off will come just outside the zone. Take a look at Coach Joe McCabe. He's got to be pleased with his team's effort. They will go to 4-1 and one on the season. They're on the verge of going to 4-1. and one. Less than five minutes left in a 6 to nothing lead. Very much in control of this championship game. The All-Boston Hockey Tournament. Pass through traffic in front. And unable to make a play was Greg Garustis. And fourth unit skating for Don Bosco. And it's just incredible to talk about any high school hockey team <laughs> being able to skate four lines. And this fourth line is certainly no slouch as far as their skating ability and ability to move the puck. You don't see much of a drop-off as far as the Catholic Conference teams when you get down to that third and fourth line at times. But played out into center ice. Constantine with a long lob in wide of the net. Kremen a bit confused for a minute. Now the puck cleared up along the boards. McDonald with it. McDonald off the stick of Garustis. Puck loose into the corner. Rogers trying to set a play. Looking for Leonard. Leonard now swings the net. Sends it back. Venus with the drive, a save. Bouncing puck through the slot. Turnaround shot by Leonard is deflected off his own man. Garustis behind the net. Around in the direction of Rogers. Rogers now pokes it away from a defender. Constantine tries to drive it up over the line. Finally does so. Now Ken Venus up along the boards. Venus collects own zone. Drives it back into the CC zone. Donovan first man there. Sends it back up into center ice. And the puck deflects into the Don Bosco bench area with 3.01 left third period. Bernie Corbin and Dave Quinn from Walter Brown Arena. Don Bosco in command of this one, leading 6 to nothing. Right from the start, Don Bosco established that good forecheck that we've seen that we saw earlier in the year. Really just took the game to Christopher Columbus. I think that first goal really did Christopher Columbus in. It, was a, it wasn't a pretty goal, kind of cheap goal, kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. And... Christopher Columbus has had trouble rebounding from that all night. Really get on the board quickly. And that has made a difference. They got that quick start and then really tightened up defensively. And we've mentioned a couple of times, Marty Pierce was the mentor to Joe McCabe for 13 years and just stressing that good overall disciplined hockey. Bosco does not make a lot of mistakes. And there is the seventh goal of the evening. That one will go to Constantine right off the draw. He and Bregan combining and it is now seven to nothing Don Bosco with 243 left to play here in the third period Reagan did a good job off the faceoff taking the puck winning the faceoff staying on his feet keeping control of the puck slid it over to Considine again that's about the third time Christopher Columbus has had trouble off the faceoff it's the second time Bosco's been able to capitalize at the second face second goal off the faceoff 
And that is really an indication of not doing the job as far as defensive zone coverage, Dave. You've got to pick up your man off the draw when you're the defensive team, particularly in a situation such as that. Play back on. Columbus trying to clear the zone. Can't do it at this moment. Now Bolstad manages to flip it out to the neutral zone. Monticello pass ahead to far for Darustas. Now Moshio carries in as it poked away. Now Rogers races. Moving away from Tucker. Going in deep. Check there by Moshio. Now Tucker walks it up. Ahead. Off the stick of Matthews at center ice. And down less than two minutes to play. Pass ahead too long by Municello. Rolling in behind the net. Bolstad on it. Up for Matthews. Matthews trying to spot Sullivan. The pass in his skates. Intercepted now. And walking in alone. Considine. And absolutely no chance for Obert there. Again, as, again, sloppy play by Christopher Columbus. I mean, coaches just, just really get livid at mistakes like that. That's a mental mistake coming through center ice, right, turning the puck over like that. Constantine really came, came off the bench, came on a change, came flying through center ice, right, picked up the puck, put it in the top corner. As you see him here coming down, right around one of the defensemen. Top glove side, 8 nothing. Don Bosco. Don Bosco continues to do a little things to win. Now, despite their, their only loss so far coming to BC High, that 4 to nothing game, which we did not see, I suspect this Don Bosco team is going to be heard from come tournament time. I'm very surprised if they don't. They've just got too many solid people. And they're threatening again in the offensive zone here. Cliff McHale for Bregan. Bregan avoids Considine. Back for McHale, the quick drive, and Obert with the big stop. Back in behind the net, less than a minute to play. Bregan tries to send it back to the point area, and Carroll intercepts. Now knocked away by Ken Poole. He sends it back in behind the net. Olbert there, trying to leave it for Dunneman. McHale into forecheck. Loose puck, backhand, save. Quick bid there from Mark Leonard. Loose puck up along the boards. Now in the zone. Walking in, Garustas, bouncing puck on the backhand, a save, the puck is loose, and Ober reaches behind himself there. Managing to pick that one up with the glove for a face-off with just 23 seconds left. Face-off will come to the stick side of Obert. Second goaltender used by Coach Shanahan here tonight. He came in relief of Vacha, who played the first two periods. Three seconds left. Face off one by Leonard. Back to the point. Drive in front. Leonard just misses on the backhand bid. Garustics now sends it in front. Pass knocked away by Donovan. Finally sent up over the line. On it there. Rogers. He sends it back into the offensive zone for Bosco. Three seconds. Two. And that will do it. The Bears of Don Bosco. have become the first champions of the All-Boston Hockey Tournament by a score of 7 to nothing over the Friars of Christopher Columbus. We'll be back. Ceremony.
Well, that's going to do it for the first annual All-Boston Hockey Tournament put together by Bob DeCristoforo, the athletic director at Christopher Columbus, who did a great job with this tournament. And we suspect that we will see the second annual tournament coming next year. Look forward to that. See the scores. The first game, a consolation game, Dom Savio, 14 to 1 over South Boston for third place. And I guess I took a goal away, Dave, from <laughs> Don Bosco earlier, but they did get one in the last minute and a half. So they were able to defeat Christopher Columbus by a score of 8 to nothing to win the championship. And a second opportunity to see Don Bosco overall very impressed with that particular squad in the Catholic Conference, Dave. Squad that has a lot of depth, very disciplined team. Coach McCabe does a great job coaching them. They, you know, they, once they establish a dom uh, the early dominance tonight, they really took it to Christopher Columbus, and Christopher Columbus really was never in the game. You know, they got a great team, great depth, and uh, look to hear for a lot from them in the uh, Catholic Conference. Well, we certainly will, and I suspect in the down the road in the Eastern Mass Schoolboy Tournament. Well, we hope you've enjoyed Cablevision's coverage of the first All Boston Hockey Tournament. The champions just skated off the ice. Don Bosco, eight to nothing winners over Christopher Columbus. For Dave Quinn, this is Bernie Corbett saying good night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh.